Back at it again with Sonic News. Here we go. So apparently Takashi Azuka did an interview with Retro Gamer Magazine and he expressed interest in wanting to remake Sonic Adventure. Here's what he said. It was the first high-speed 3D action game that also featured a scenario highlighted with six different stories. The A Life Chow, six unique styles of gameplay. It is a unique game offering even 20 years after its release. At the time, it also wasn't just a solitary software release. It was the title to bring people to the Dreamcast, and we were given the budget to make something to showcase the hardware. However, it was the very first 3D game that we worked on. I can see the rough edges it has, which really makes me want to remake it again. And as you know, Sonic Adventure was actually made for the Dreamcast, so it would launch alongside it, you know, to sell some consoles. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, if you hear fireworks, it, it is New Year's Eve, so and it's still not 12, but people start exploding early, so I can't do much about that. But yeah, uh, and he wants to really remake it. Yeah, and we can all see it's rough edges. It's not just him. But the thing is, if this does actually come to life and they actually do a Sonic Adventure remake, I don't know if Sonic Team is going to make a good remake, like, faithful to it, or they're going to remake it with the boost gameplay, or they're just going to release a sloppy-ass game like they sometimes do. Like, sometimes we end up with some amazing things like Sonic Unleashed or Sonic Generations but also end up with Sonic Forces and Sonic Lost World which don't know what they want to be and they they just try something new or they just sloppily do the boost gameplay like crap like with Sonic Lost World it was just a mixed experience overall Sonic Lost World was a experimental game to see if they could reinvent Sonic's gameplay so it could be more accessible to more people but in doing that they basically threw in everything they had they threw in the super peel out from Sonic CD they slowed it down they they injected a run button stupid but the game was built around it so I guess it wasn't that bad and they also injected the parkour which wasn't a bad idea but what would have been nice is that if they took the parkour engine and and you know put it in the boost gameplay and mixed it in it probably would have like actually worked and, you know of course with uh, some tweaks and stuff it probably would have worked but instead, we ended up with Sonic Forces, which is just like strip away most of Sonic's abilities, give them to the custom character in the form of a Wispon, a weapon, and just leave Sonic without a drift and just have him go fast, basically. And give him a shitty double jump, of course, because that always works. So, I don't know, like the current sonic team is very inconsistent and can make a consistent game like a consistently good game so i don't know if they can handle a remake like this and this is something that's sacred to many people sonic adventure was like the first sonic game for many people and if they just remake that and lose the spirit of sonic adventure they just they'll just destroy the whole thing like they just destroy their memories and that's the problem but I I'm gonna hold my hopes up and if they do go through with this I hope they know what they're doing but also they should totally port Sonic Unleashed to Steam first that's totally what they should do oh shit anyway thanks for watching guys have a nice day and happy new year adios